everyone, I'm Emily Powers and in this video I'm going to be painting this bird and I think it'll be fun. I'm going to be doing it a little different than I normally do. I've got this Arteza DIY frame. It's I think 8.5 uh, inch and 8.5 inch or um 8.5 times 5.5 inch board if I remember right and the paint colors I put on a styrofoam plate so you don't have to have like a glass palette like I normally use you can use just like a plate or something like that and this color I just said I would say real quick is one I don't normally use it's the artist loft aqua green so I got it because it's just really really similar to what I was going to need so I didn't want to have to mix it but if you didn't have it you could probably find something similar or you could mix it um, something very similar with phthalo green titanium white and maybe just a speck of cadmium yellow medium and you could get that color pretty close so I'm going to uh, start um, I will say one thing I'll show real quick is that this was our schedule for March so whoops I got it upside down so this is April the colors printed a little funny but you can kind of get the idea so that's what we're going to be doing for April so I just thought I'd say that real quick so I've got a number eight Princeton Select Filbert. It's a little bigger than a quarter inch. And I'm going to take some titanium white and my ultramarine blue. And first I'll just do the background. I'll have to do more than one coat, but I want to get the first coat on there. So I'm going to do a mixture of just the white and the ultramarine blue and then a mixture that's a little darker with ultramarine blue and burnt umber added to the white. And I'll put that on there. And this board, it's not a canvas, it's like it's like paper. So really it will act a little more like paper than a canvas would. I mean the paint is like drying really fast like if you were painting on paper. So I'm, I'm using it. It's, it's nice to have a small board sometimes when I'm doing a video and I don't have any small canvases. So these are good for when I need something small. Alright, so I'm just going to take some of these different gray colors. Certain areas will be a little darker, certain areas will be lighter, others might have more blue, more brown, just kind of it on. You could use a bigger brush if you wanted to. Probably go faster, but And you could mix up one of these colors and coat the whole thing and then 
let it dry and then the next step that we do you could do more details so you could just totally paint the whole thing one color Got it on a rag so that I can have it lifted up a little bit for the camera not to have a bad shine on it. All right, so got it pretty good now covered. So now I want it to dry and since it has sides I like painting those too so I'll paint the sides while I'm off camera all right so I got my sides painted now and this is dry so I'm going to take my ultramarine blue and burnt umber and mix up a dark Color so it doesn't have much white in it and then I'll add some white over here and I'll do some brown I'm trying to mix up more of these colors so that I can go faster when I'm actually painting. Alright, so I've got like a dark color, then more of a brown, then more of a blue. So I will let's see, get some more blue with it. Get it kind of thick, try to hurry up and I'll just take my other colors and before the colors I put down dry try to blend them in you could use like a mop brush or something that would blend well Something that would do good blending, but. And I'm not going to do this on the sides just because I'm doing a video, so I don't want to do that at the moment, but. Add some more blue to this brown. It's a little bit too brown, I think.
just mix some of that more dark. There's some dark back here. All right, and then right in here is where the wood is that he's sitting on. So I'm gonna get brown and some blue. And it's maybe just slightly lower than the halfway point. So I'm gonna start it like right here. Go up, and it's going to stop down past halfway, so like right there. I'm going to stop it, angle it this way, and the birds are going to be covering where the corner is, but so the corner doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll fill this whole area in where it's going to be. There go. Now I'll rinse my brush out. And this paper is drying really fast, so uh, I may not even really have to pause to dry it because it might be dry by the time I'm done with my brush and get ready to do the next step. So, do I rinse that out? Um, I'm going to be using a watercolor pencil to draw out my bird. So, I'll get a lighter. So I'm going to use, I think, yellow watercolor pencil. And so it's water soluble. It'll wipe off if you took a, a wet, damp rag and wiped it off with some water. It would come off. So it's nice if you make mistakes. Um, but it's still a little wet, so I'm going to have to pause anyway for it to dry. Alright, so I'll draw my bird out now that this is, I think it's dry enough, I can do the drawing. So, uh, I'm going to say this is about the middle. Just right over from that slightly is where we're going to stop. So his belly is going to be down here. And then the top of his head is going to be, like if you say, this is half, then half again, and half again. So the top of his head is going to be around that area. So I'm going to say, I'm going to come in here. And then come out. He's going to have his head Let's see. I'm not going to do it quite up to there because I feel like it's the size of my canvas and the size of the picture is just slightly to where the proportions wouldn't come out right. So, this is the head. So I go kind of flat here, and then it's going to come back in, out, and around. And then right here, the long beak is going to come out. out here and I'm 
the body is going to come down. See right about where this is. It's going to come back out. So I'm okay if you can see the edge of that. See the wing. I'm gonna put the wing right in here. So it kind of comes around the head, comes down in slightly, and around. Might not be that wide. Down. And let's see his wing comes down here. And it's going to come in and then it's going to be like another piece of the wing and then his tail is going to come down. It's got a short tail and up to this wing. It's going to be a piece that's white right in here and then his eye is going to be above this beak Let's see maybe over here and then he's going to have kind of bluish blue hair up here and it's gonna the top of his head is gonna be fuzzy but the drawings tend to look weird so when you paint it in it will look better but until then it looks kind of funny so just keep drawing it there's gonna be some white in here under the chin and his little foot is gonna come out right there and it's going to grip around the edge of the wood and come back. That way. So, I'm not going to angle his beak that far down. Come out more straight. Not really straight, but not as curved. look better once I paint it in so that it's painted in. Um, so I'm just going to do the first layer. So for the wing, I'm going to get this dark mixture. Even though there's blue on top, there's like this really dark color under it. So I'm going to put that dark color up under the wing here. top of his head I uh, won't do that part quite yet let's see um, I'm gonna do some yellow ochre and some white and I'll do that do a little bit of burnt sienna too
and I'm not worried about cleaning my brush out. If some of that gray gets in, it's fine. I don't want a whole lot of it, but if some of it gets in, it's not going to hurt. So I want to kind of, I don't want to make it just one straight line, kind of like I did over here. I want to kind of make the belly fuzzy. Get more burnt sienna for over here. Some more. It's darker. It's not that bright. It's not the exact color, but it's similar, so. rinse that out so pretty quickly we're getting the first layer on get some white and put some white in there And up under the beak. Okay, then I'll get some of that dark color again. And some. Just put a little bit more of that dark there and I'll go back and do the eye just to make sure I don't have too big of a space. Alright, and now for the smaller details I'm going to get a number one round. It's Princeton Velvet Touch and I'm going to get that dark color again. Mix it up. And do right in here. Might have gone a little too far, but and now I'll mix color for the beak. So I'll get some burnt sienna and cadmium orange. And I'll add some white just a little bit. 
Make sure it covers okay. And now for the little feet, do So the first layer of the bird is on. I still don't really like that foot though. I can cover that up. Okay, so I was going to do some details in the wood, so I'll just go ahead and do that. So, do some like dark areas, like cracks in the wood. Get some water because it's not wanting to come off easily. You can just kind of add some dark when I don't have a whole lot on my brush. I can kind of just kind of go back and forth and just add some spots in there. It'll just kind of, if I don't have a whole lot, it'll just make dots in the wood. I just kind of want to put in some different colors, so. Okay, and then I'll get my white. And go along the edge. some really light color back here. Thank you. 
So I'm just put it down and let it go on and then I'll scrape it off. Blur it out a little bit. Up closer I might not really blur it. I'll just scratch some white. Okay, and then you can get like maybe a little bit of yellow. And add some yellow and green to the wood if you want. I didn't do a whole lot, but the wood kind of has some like white uh, and green spots on the wood. So, um, I'm going to take my rag and up here is dry. So I'm going to take my wet rag and wipe off the yellow. I'm not going to do it on the wood because I was just there painting on it, but the top, I can wipe it off. So now we can see where we've actually got paint. Just be careful not to wipe, like scrub it or anything too hard or else it might actually take the paint off. So uh, I'm going to get my filbert again and I'm going to work on the blue on the back. So I'm going to get the ultramarine blue. And put some on the tail. Get a little bit more. Add more white up there. Okay, I'm going to need more blue, so. Some blue. I need to make more of that dark color and put some of that right in there. Alright, now I'm going to get some of this lighter color. You could use, let's see, let me use my smaller brush because it's going to be way too big. Let me zoom in some on this. So, I'm going to get some of the lighter color, some brown with it, make it a little bit more brown. And do some really light lines and just do some light areas there. Now I'll get the ultramarine blue, just a little bit of white, and right in here I will 
just try to make it streak some blue. And I'll do it kind of some like a rounded shape at the end here. So if you had a really small filbert, this might be good for that. I could use that. Right, and now up here on top of his head, do some dark blue. That. All right, now I'll get some more white with my blue get a little lighter and put in some lighter blue Sorry about that noise. All right, and all right, so now I'll get some of this aqua green and add some white to it. So you could use phthalo green and white with maybe a speck of cadmium yellow, medium. And so I got that aqua green and I added just a little bit of that light ultramarine blue to it. I don't want a whole lot on my brush. And just do some, on these feathers, do some lines. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to get a new brush. This is my quarter inch Filbert Granier. You could probably just keep using the same brush, but it wouldn't give it exactly the same texture. And I actually forgot to say at the beginning that there are, the supplies I'm using are in the description and 
a uh, there are some links in the description where you can buy some of those supplies and a percentage of your purchase helps support my channel didn't say that at the beginning but the colors and brushes and everything I'm using are going to be in the description and if you enjoy the video please give it a like and subscribe I post a new video every Friday so you can check out my channel by hitting Emily Powers Art So I just mixed up a light ultramarine blue and added some water. So this brush will give me some like little feathers. I can brush in here. I got a little bit of a darker ultramarine and I'm going back with my lighter. Get some more light. Get a little bit of that aqua green. get some of that darker blue and I can do some down here oops did too much all right I'm gonna rinse that out and I'm going to get my dark color. Flick that back up. It's not so dark. And I'm going to put some lines in my feathers in between here. Some of that blue. regular ultramarine and then some of that dark I'll put some of the dark color back in here because there wasn't as much blue right here as I put And I'm kind of taking a medium blue, not too light and not too dark. Going back over. Get that really light blue and put it up at the top and 
then do some blue right here at the top of the head. Make it a little darker. Got some of that light in there. So I've got some different colors. I've got some lighter colors and some darker colors. So I got this wing pretty good now. Now I just need to work on some of these other areas I didn't get yet. So I'm going to get some of the aqua green. It's too green, so I'm going to mix it with some ultramarine blue. and some white. tapping and making little dots on his head. get burnt sienna and burnt umber make it darker Put some of the darker up under here, under his face, and I'll get more of the burnt sienna without as much burnt umber, but I'll get some yellow ochre. And try to blend into it. Some more of the yellow. It still has some of the orange in it. But you can see we're getting more detail than we had before. It's more of the color that we want.
All right, so I'm blending like this brown into this reddish color and then blending that into this yellowy color. Well, I'm gonna get more of the yellow. Get some titanium white. Okay, now I'll get some of the burnt umber with the yellow and put it up under this wing. Have some of these feathers come off. So I'm going to get some white and the yellow. some water. So I got some yellow, more yellow over, do more yellow. getting some of that more red color with the burnt sienna. And some of that in there. And I 
can take some yellow and kind of flick it over this wing. Make it have some fuzzy texture. I'll do that with the burnt sienna too. Get some burnt sienna. It's got some other colors in it, but water it down and flick it over. Add some burnt umber. I'm not worried about going over some of this other, like the eye and stuff. Or the beak. I'm just trying to get this orange part to look good. Alright, so that's good. You could mess with it probably a lot more. <laughs> I mean, really, with any painting, you know, you could just keep on going, changing things, and... But, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so, there's... Now that this wood is dry, I'm gonna take the chalk off of the tail back here, and the wing. So now we can really see the whole thing. All right, so there's some like, I didn't get really any white over here, so I'm going to get it right there, a little better. All right, and now I want to hmm, I'm trying to think. Uh, I will use this Filbert Grainier again, right here on this. So I got some white, I got brighter right there, and there's also some white under the beak I should put. Some white under the beak. Now I'll get my small round and do some more details. So I want to put my eye back in. It may not be my last layer of the eye, but I kind of covered it up. So do it. Do 
down here. There's some dark hair right in there. All right, so I'm going to get this dark color and start doing some of these details. So it's got some. Feathers that kind of come off the top of his head a little bit. Some black spots. And then as it gets back here, I'm going to just kind of pull and then do like a streak of black. And then I'll do some dots back here. All right. Now I'm going to get this green with the aqua green, some of that light ultramarine blue, and a little bit of white. And now that I, so I just kind of do some dots closer to the eye and the beak, and then some dots around the blue. And then I kind of streaked, just kind of pulled some color of the white and the, or the black and the green at the top of the head. And now I'm going to get some titanium white and do some. There's some feathers that are black, but they have white. It's like it goes from black, white, black, white, black, white. So I'm going to do some dots. And some kind of dot in a line.
So let's do some dots and then take some of my yellow and just flick up right here over that dark color. Get a little bit of burnt sienna and flick with that too. Alright, now I'm going to, I need a different color that I didn't pull out. I need cadmium red medium for the beak. And if you wanted to, you could just use the orange and the burnt sienna, but I want to get it closer than I had it before probably should have done that instead of the orange, but I'm going to do that. Put that cadmium red on the beak. Now I'm going to get my, I'm going to rinse that red out. I'm going to get my white and my yellow. Cadmium yellow, medium is more probably like this color, but get my red I like blend it together So I'll just water it down some and do the edge, do the edge of the beak, and then really quick get the red and fix fix it if it got too thick. Alright, so just trying to get this beak right. Now that I got it pretty thin, get 
the red. All right, so I think it's pretty good. Now I'll skip that red, try to do it really bright. On the top, I'll do some white with the cadmium red. Make it this light color. And Get some of the red and blend in with that. So I got that lighter, and I'm going to get some of this, let's see, some of this yellow ochre, and some white, and try to put it right up against here where these feathers are. Get some burnt sienna with it. All right, and then I'll get some of the dark color, put it right up against where I had where the red and the yellow meat. And I'll get some more white with the red. All right. And get some more white. I'm going to rinse my brush out so I don't have as much of that red in my brush. Get 
rinse that off. I kind of made it too far, so I'm trying to fix it. All right, and now the feet, I'm going to get cadmium red again, and Get some cadmium orange and a little bit of white. Still has those other colors in there. All right, and now I'm gonna do some more on the eye. Except that dark. And then I'll get just dip my brush into the white and do it right there. I'll get a little bit of my white with my dark color and make a light gray and just do. Do a little bit of gray right underneath the eye. All right, and then back to the feet. I'll get the cadmium red and Get some white with the orange, and it still has some of that red. All right, and get some more white. And put it on the feet. Get the 
orange and don't like this foot, mm -mm. but get the white along the edge. Pretty good. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty good except for I want to get some of this gray and just go over that eye to make that white not so bright. I think that's good. So I'm going to get my Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen and sign it over here. It's so small you could sign it under, like on the side. So there's the Kingfisher. Let me zoom out some. So you can kind of see it zoomed out some there. So let me zoom in just a little bit more. So there's the finished bird there. And I just thought I'd show again, the new schedule for April is right here. So if you wanna see any of those being painted, that'll be in April. So you can hit Emily Powers Art right below the video if you wanna check those out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you did. And thanks for watching, bye.